Hello everyone, my name is Kenmei and today in Fire Emblem Heroes we're here for a new summoning session! After what feels like an eternity, it's only been two weeks but uh, it's been quite a long time! And this time around we're here post Halloween for one scary spooky character, no, not really, but uh, it's just that it's our newest mythic hero, Arval. I think you can hear from the sound of my voice. It, it, it is not what I expected. Maybe not expected, but just wanted overall. But I guess now that uh, Arval is there, uh, they're not going to show up <laughs> later. So yeah, sorry, sorry if I sound slightly salty. But uh, we are still going to try and get him, uh, get them. Sorry, uh, I'll try not to misgender them. I've heard so many contradictory thoughts, and uh, I must be honest, since I haven't played uh, Three Hopes and I haven't seen a lot of it actually, um, I might get it wrong. Truly sorry about it. Uh, but I guess we can rightly go up to the tail list. Here it is, and uh, yep. I don't know, it feels strange because there are three mythics that are really down the pack, especially Elimine, but uh, yeah, I I'm not going to lie, I don't need them as much as I would need a Lititi merge, an S merge, or Sane uh, fodder, so let's see, let's go check who we can get from this banner. Uh, Alright, let's start with the red. So. Yeah, I guess Arval is, um, I think there was to be expected, to be honest, because we, we've gotten, uh, we've gotten three hopes last month with our re-armed lift. It would have been stupid not to, to bank on the fact that, uh, you know, I has introduced, uh, three hopes quite recently in, uh, in fact. But, I must admit, uh, there are many, many, many mythic potentials, uh, especially for anime. Well, maybe, I don't, I'm not sure there is a lot for anime, um, but I guess what I mean is the, there is a need for anime mythic. I think we're still one behind uh, compared to all the other elements. And we do have a few candidates, I think. Uh, I think it's us. Athos is not a uh, an anime mythic. I don't know what I is thinking, but this is clearly one of the only characters I have in mind. I'm actually pretty surprised that um, that Arval is anime, even though I can maybe understand why, given the very few things I know about them. Oh. <laughs> One broody guy! Alright, oh, this is going to be a perfect sideway to, um, I don't know when, I don't know when I said that, um, the Ken Splendent would resume whenever we get a Nidavali Ort and a Knowing Eyes, it wouldn't happen until a very long time! Guess wh who we're getting next as a Resplendent? Resplendent Jafar! From the Valir. Oh, ah, yes, you, you, you've jumped right into my trap. <laughs> into my trap, not strap. Sorry, no. there is an uh, there is an us who decided to to come into my sentence. But yeah, finally, an Valir resplendent. I think it was really unexpected for me. Like, it's been more a year and a half. I think I'm not sure. But it's been so long since South, and okay, I must be honest, the design is pretty neat, but it's a bit sad that again, this is a dagger. It's quite similar to what, uh, it's quite similar to what South has, not, but there is still, you know, uh, a few differences that makes it noteworthy. The art is pretty dope, uh, actually, Jaff Jafar's resplendent art is really nice. Uh, I think uh, Jafar was thrown by uh, Kano Akira for the Resplendent and they did an amazing job on that one. So can't wait to have it in my barracks and uh, maybe can't wait to see what the next Resplendent is going to be. Uh, I think I think Jotun Titania or characters like that are drawing near. 
maybe not near enough, but uh, maybe we can expect some Telius coming soon. <sighs> but yeah. Um, da -da -da. One of the things I was thinking about Arval, now that uh, we've finished on the sideway, one thing I've noticed about Arval uh, is their C skill, which is really nice. And okay, why is it really nice? Because um, I think Attack Death Oath on Eltina is not that bad, but it's, uh, you know, there, there was a, a lot of limitations to mainly the fact that you needed to be close to you, like adjacent to your allies if you wanted to have the buff. This off the tier 4, uh, the, the fourth tier, I think I can get it. The fourth tier of um, of the oath is going to be really good on Altina. And hello, Mirabilis. Ooh, this is a nice one. Because uh, Mirabilis isn't coming back until when? Until when? Actually, I, I feel it's going to be so long until our poor Mirabilis is coming back. So I'll, I'll take all the merges. Thank you. But yeah, Altina really value it. The oath four skill. And um, the thing is, I feared that, well, we still don't have a remix, so we don't know, but I fear that she might, sh I fear she would not get an oath as a remix skill, because, uh, you know, they typically don't give units for the remixes, they typically don't give uh, skills that are not yet in the game. For example, uh, Julia, uh, legendary Julia, could have have gotten attack res 04. Like uh, it could have been nice, but no, because uh, it still didn't exist in the game. So she got menace, which was arguably better for her. But she could have gotten uh, the fourth oath had it been in the game yet. So there is hope for Altina, and uh, I think attack res oath is going to be better for Altina than attack defense. Only because of the scaling on uh, on her special. Let's be honest. So, yep. And actually, talking about remixes, we've got... Uh, since I'm summoning on the first, we've gotten some news about uh, the next uh, refines. And uh, Elliewood and Yoon's remix, I think uh, that's it. Pretty hyped for, for the both of them. The, remi the remixed skills are pretty good. Especially for you, and she, she really needed that. And I can't wait to see what their refine is uh, going to be. Elliot is already pretty solid with a uh, vision of Ar Arcadia 2. Um, I really wonder what they're going to do with you. Because uh, <laughs> there is a lot that can be done. Even though Chaos Named is still better now at the T2. Other than that, oh! I was ext maybe not ecstatic because uh, you know it's still a four star, but I'm really hyped about um, Hello Game. <laughs> I'm really hyped about uh, Python getting a uh, refine because um, technically it should be around the banner of uh, Fina, Sirius, Norn, and um, Naki. But we we're getting close to a silk refine. And let me tell you, I can't wait to see that. I can't wait to see what she, what she could get, because uh, you know we we still uh, we still love Silk in this house. We we love Silk, we love Tatiana, and we love Elincha. We love the both of them. Oh, the, the both? What? <laughs> the three of them. And uh, Veronica is coming to tell me. Hmm. This was a wrong sentence. Let me correct you by uh, hitting you with my staff. It's always nice for Fade. Even though, you know, uh, Veronica, you're nice, but uh, you... You're not Arval. Could you... Could you please bring Arval home? I think I would actually love to get a few... Because <clears throat> if I remember correctly, Arval is coming back on January, right? I could still wait up until that time, but I think I would like to have uh, an Arval ready for Fodder 
if um, if Altina ends up not having the fourth oath. Because uh, there is something in the back of my mind that is telling me she might not get it. She might be given a mana skill, which wouldn't be that cool. Oh, actually, there is something I noted. Uh, completely stupid trivia. Um, there is something I noted a few days ago. Um, basically, what I noted is that, uh, you know, we've been introduced to mana skills with, uh, uh, with the fourth Fallen Banner, if I recall correctly, with uh, the Fallen Morgans. And, um, you know, a menace is bigger than a threat, you know, it could, it could be seen as a logical explanation for uh, menace being called menace. But the funny thing I recall is that we actually had a character with a similar effect for all stats and their skill was Surtur's menace. So basically, <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if it's a coincidence, it might just be one. But uh, it's a really cool coincidence if it is. All right, can we get a can we get a nest? Well, wait, I would prefer a crumb, cause uh, crumb is not coming back. Wait, he is coming back soon. I don't know. No, he's coming back in February, and uh, we're not sure if he's coming back as a uh, as a uh, you know as a remix or as a uh, a as a regular legendary. Because uh, the 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 blue, I think the blue color is full for the legendary mythic uh, banner of that month. So, you know, it wasn't an S, it was a Donal, who still hasn't have a resplendent. What what realm would Donal be? Hmm. He would need to keep the pot on the head. Hmm. Would it stylize the part in the head? You know, it's the it's the thing with uh, those two characters who have something on their head that they won't dislodge, like uh, Nefeni's helmet or Donald's spot. So I really wonder what uh, what realm they're going to give them, and if they're going to give their uh, their lovely helmets. A redesign. I think they might do it for. Oh, all right, Primaria. You're welcome in the barracks, but um, I'll be honest, uh, you're just going to be fodder, sadly. <laughs> plus attack. Mm, I think mine is already plus attack. But I think for uh, Nephany, depending on the realm they're going to give her, they might change the design of the helmet. There are a few possibilities where it could work. And for Donal, I think the pot is, you know, generic enough that you could actually keep it and uh, make it fit the overall design. I'm not sure. Hello, Tanith. Okay, up for the last circle, and uh, we might get an apple here. Even though our PT is reset. Uh, very few chances at that. I must be honest. <sighs> Libra was book uh, two, right? With um, Flying Olivia, Maribel. Maybe we can expect a Libra resplendent next year. Don't think we'll get it this year. Tethys isn't going to get any uh, any refined soon. It's really sad that they're still not giving dancers refine. I don't know why. They they gave the, the legendary Azura a refine, so it should have been enough, you know, to open up the gates. But no, I is being stingy again. We're not yet to the end, but what are we closing on? Echidna. 
And to finish things off, we're gonna get... A nothing! A good old nothing. Alright. Alrighty. Well, that was a... Maybe a bit underwhelming session. We still, we've still still gotten a Mirabilis and an Ota. Which is nice. And a Veronica on the side. You know what? We're going to take the spark and just finish it at that. Where, where are they? Here. It's true that I would have loved to get an Oscar, but uh, I guess I can still try to go for colorless later. The banner lasts for two weeks. Two weeks. Of course, two weeks. <laughs> so I guess if I want to dip a bit more, depending on what we get for the... for the next seasonal. Alright. Alright. They're going to be quite powerful. Maybe one thing that I feel is a bit sad is that they're strong. It's nice. But is it like it's going to help anime in itself? I'm not sure. We'll have to see. But now you're in my barracks and we are going to stop it here for this session. Yeah, I have 17 orbs left, but uh... I'm not going to I'm not going to break my pick T in one circle, so I hope you're doing fine actually. I will try. I will try to have a Ken Splendent video already for this month, but it's going to be quite a busy month, so I'm really not sure about when I will finally have my uh Nidovillier Ken Splendent. Because it's actually going to be Nidovillier, funny enough. So yeah, I hope you had a nice summoning session in your part, uh, that uh, any character you like will get a an alt on the next banner, or not, if you want to, if you actually want to, you know, to save your orbs. And until next time, take good care of yourselves, everyone. Bye-bye!